Let's introduce our panel and get their advice. Gene Marks is the president and founder of the Marks Group. He's also a columnist for the Washington Post. And Matt Rissell is the co-founder and CEO of T-Sheets, a time tracking and scheduling tool for companies with hourly employees. So good to see you both. Great to be here. JJ, great to see you. I, I feel we should also put in your intro that I so often come to you for advice <laughs> when I have small business questions of my own. Once so in a while. fantastic for us to get to ask you for the audience. What's one tip you have? Um, I have a big tip this year in 2016, JJ. It's uh, look, I mean, the whole internet is going video. And when I talk to uh, different clients and I talk about how they're going to you know, expand their businesses, I keep saying, this is the year where you need to become a video star. Start your own video show. I mean, Facebook Live, there's like, there's like 160 million people watch that Chewbacca mom video right yeah, I watched it big companies spending you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars and like look at us she's like puts on a Chewbacca mask and gets attention every company both big and small t-sheets is a great example right I mean you know you go onto a, com a platform like Facebook live Twitter Periscope Google Hangouts on air have your own TV show on there once a month provide some advice interview a customer show something off do a little bit of a demonstration uh, you know go out on site you you can come up with some content to do. You can stream it live, save it, and put it on YouTube or Vimeo, and you get a lot of traction out of How it. How do you get forward. people to watch it, though? Anyone um, can put something up. The reality is true. There will be three people that will watch your show. There will be um, you, because you look like a dope for not watching it, You're right? You're, your mom's going to watch it, JJ, because you know, your mom watches everything <laughs> you do, and they're very proud of you, and some guy will stumble onto it. It's not the, just the live broadcast. It's something to talk about before and after, mm -hmm. and then again, you'll save it, and you'll put it on YouTube, and given time, you'll start building up a library of these videos and it will attract more people to your company. So you got to embrace video in 2016. It's a big thing. You and I should do that. We'll have our own show on <laughs> dating and relationship advice. What do you think? Like two hours, <laughs> once a month, invite all questions. It's in. It'll be, be fantastic. Huge. It is going to be huge. It'll be fantastic. All right. You're up. Well, I would watch that show for sure. <laughs> yeah, of course. We have lots to share. So my tip for small business owners is don't trust your gut. Where it's, it might be a little bit different than what you hear most of the time is, you know, trust your intuition, which definitely you have to do sometimes where you have to use your intuition but I have four colossal miserable go-to-market failures that, <laughs> that uh, could have been avoided had I used data to make decisions versus just what I thought would work. So my tip is for a small business owner, and we've done it with, with many and it works, is go to a whiteboard, draw a line right down the middle of the whiteboard. On one side, put what's working, mm -hmm. and on the other side, put what's not working. Make your list. And here's the kicker. At the end of it, you have to prove it. Mm -hmm. What data do you have to actually support your hypothesis that it's working or it's not working? Yep. And if you don't have data, you've got to get it in order to make sure that it's working or not. And it's this simple. If it's not working, it's okay. Stop, iterate, and try something else. And if it is working, continue to invest in it until you have the point of diminishing returns. You know, and I think it's good to think about that in your staff meetings as well, because not only not trusting your gut, but don't trust what somebody says without having, you know, without them having data to prove it. Because you hear all the time, oh, we got a lot of emails on that, or we got a lot of something. What does a lot of mean, right? A lot of yeah. may not actually be a lot of. You, you know, have to get the data in order to know whether or not it worked. And if you don't have the ability to capture the data, put some level of infrastructure in to know. And you're right, ask difficult questions. Trust, but verify. Thanks, both of you.